I've always had a motivation to start my own business. Even when I worked for someone else, I've always been like, I think that I can do something on my own, I can do it better. So as soon as I had an opportunity to do it, I started looking into different ideas and businesses that I can start. I run a small business uh, that sells French macarons at Union Station. My name is Anastasia Tsiganok. I'm 29 years old. I'm from Tambov, Russia. It was very interesting because I opened my business kind of like a Russian person would. I was like, I'm just going to start it and then see how it goes. I didn't really know that I needed a health department inspection. I heard something about it, but I was like, well, I'm running a kiosk. It'll be fine. Two weeks later, health department came to my kiosk and they were like, um, we see you running a business here. I was like, yeah, I am. And they were like, well, you needed to get an inspection first and approval from us, so we have to shut you down. And they shut me down for a whole month while I was paying rent and I already had all the macarons. They were going bad, you know, you kind of need to sell the stuff. Uh, so I, I lost quite a bit of money, but I also learned a lot. And a month later, I was up and running again, fully legally. As a Russian person, we love um, tea. We drink tea as kind of a way, when a person comes to your house, you offer them tea, not coffee. So, um, and tea treats is a big part of our family and our com community in Russia, I think, as well. So my next step I would love to do is uh, to have my own tea house where people can come, share treats, have some delicious tea, and just, you know, have a good time. That's what I like. Russian people are very different. I mean, I feel like I was born more American than Russian, honestly, because Russian people are very reserved. It doesn't mean they were mean or not friendly, but it's just the culture because we come from a cold place. So it's like six months out of a year it's cold, so we try not to move too many muscles, you know, <laughs> not to put any cold air inside. So we try to stay very, you know, reserved. Americans are always cheerful on the outside and I think I was all I always had that in me for some reason maybe that's why I came here and clicked with this culture more um, Russians though are very um, emotional I feel like Americans might not go through the same emotions as Russians do but again I don't know I wasn't born here so I can't quite you know catch that I can only speak for the Russian part uh, I know that we're very emotional, very sympathetic people, but on the outside it's all very sturdy and, you know, just calm. Don't talk to me.